hello everyone and welcome to the channel so we are almost 20 25 days away from the upcoming cs annet exam and if you are preparing for it there are few things which i want to tell you i want to make a checklist for you so that you keep a check on them that yes you have done all those things and if not you can do that in the upcoming days all right so let's start with it so the first thing is to cover your syllabus now of course syllabus cannot be covered completely i have been talking about that always whenever exam comes i always talk about the, that that nobody is able to cover 100% syllabus everybody tries to cover maximum as much as possible but in case if you are someone who thinks that you have already done like 60 to 70% of your syllabus you should be uh, you know confident enough with those topics and do not push yourself to cover more topics in the coming days because in the coming days it's more important to retain whatever you have studied so instead of studying more and uh, gaining more knowledge it's better to retain what you have uh, done till now okay in case if you are someone who is repeating this exam or you have already done the exam and you want you are giving it for the next time and you have plenty of time and you have already a good command over the previous topics or the uh, many topics which you have already done so now you can study few more topics but if you are someone who is giving this exam for the first time it's good to stop now and retain whatever knowledge you have got till now okay try to keep revising that revision is very important instead of uh, studying a new topic probably studying a new topic might give you some knowledge of that uh, but it might affect the thing which you have studied earlier and you might forget that in the exam so it's better to remember what you have studied uh, like till now by revision and for that i have made plenty of videos like how to do cyclic revisions how to do periodic revision i have made a detailed video on that the links are there in the i button you can watch those videos all right next thing which you have to do which definitely you should do is previous year's questions in case if you have not done yet please 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 solve previous year's question start solving them at least try to do like previous 5 years of question papers it's better to do like starting from 2011 june 2011 but uh, in case if you think that you have not even started at least try to do previous 5 years now we have our own ebook for that case okay you can purchase that if you want this ebook contains previous year's questions from June 2011 till the last exam which was December 2024 now all these questions have been segregated topic wise these questions have detailed solution with them also they come up in a topic wise manner and they are separated in organic inorganic and physical so in that case if let's say you are studying chemical kinetics but you have not studied quantum chemistry you can simply uh, solve questions from chemical kinetics and ignore quantum chemistry okay so that's another advantage of this particular ebook the link to purchase ebook is there in the description of this video uh, you can go ahead and click on that link and you can make a purchase of that all right the next thing is how you can use this previous year question or whatever you have studied in previous year question to prepare in a better way let's say you have studied chemical kinetics completely you have done you have done revision also of that and now you started solving previous year question and you are now getting stuck at certain topic let's say you got a question in let's say 2017 or 2020 which was from transition state theory and you don't know you don't have any idea of that so now you uh, when you are solving the previous year's question you can leave that thing for now but go back and try to read about that particular topic try to read about transition state theory you can even read and since you do not have enough time i would recommend to watch youtube videos for that there are plenty of videos like youtube is full of content now especially for csnet i would say that it is already saturated then the content for csnet is already saturated on the platform so you can go and you can read about that from that those particular videos this is going to help you to uh, understand that topic and that block or that gap in your preparation is going to build up so this is another a tip and very important tip okay which which is very important if you are preparing seriously for the exam okay the next thing is test series of course you have to give test series uh, before going for the csa net exam it's always 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 recommended to sit for certain test series and give them now many times what happens that you just buy one test series or you go to a particular platform and you take a test series of that you get certain marks you if let's say you get a good marks you get satisfied with it and you don't bother about your preparation further 
but I would recommend instead of that, try to give multiple test series, try to take multiple test series of different platforms, try to give them because all these platforms are going to bring up their own questions, their own versions of test series. Okay. And all of them will have certain different difficulty level of the test series. Now, test series is not to evaluate your performance. Of course, it is going to evaluate certain uh, level of your performance. But instead of that, try to utilize in a way to uh, manage time, like whether you are able to manage time in exam also or not. So three hours of your exam. So you have to be serious about these tests and you have to give these mock tests or test series in a way that uh, you are mimicking your CSNET exam. Okay. And then try to overcome with the mistakes which you are doing. Uh, sometimes we think that we have studied a topic and sometimes it happens that you think that you have understood a concept, you have understood the stereochemistry of helical organic molecules. But when you go and when you solve question, you are getting stuck with it or you are not able to solve it or you are doing a mistake in that. So again, it is going to help you to build up those gaps. Okay. So we again have our own test series. If you are interested, you can purchase our test series. Uh, the test series comes with uh, four full length mock test over there. Along with that four full length mock test in that test series, you get an e-copy of uh, the previous year's questions. That is the e-book. So if you take a test series, you get advantage of both. You get the test series. Along with that, you get the e-book as an e-copy. You can read it on the mobile. You cannot download it. You can read it on mobile. Okay. So that's something which you can consider. It's worth considering. So yeah, uh, it is also going to give you at the end of these tests, these mock tests which we have prepared, they are made in a way that give you a detailed exam like experience. Their interface is also similar to CSRNet. Also, you get a scientific calculator over there. And when you finish a test, you get a detailed analysis of that. You get a detailed report which tells you that what was your accuracy, how quick you were, how slow you were, which topic you did well, you, which topic you need more focus upon. So you get a uh, AI assisted uh, detailed uh, like report, which is going to be super useful if you want to evaluate yourself. All right. The next thing which you have to keep in mind in the coming days is of course to keep revising the things. Okay. So make your whatever short notes you have made till now, whatever points you have made till now while your preparation. Now you have to keep revising them in the coming days and try to avoid studying something very new something from very scratch okay try to avoid that so i think i covered most of the things in this video which i wanted to tell you uh, in the last few days of the exam do let me know if you have any queries any questions related to them and i'll try to include that in the upcoming videos i'll try to make more frequent videos for the upcoming days because i know the exams are near and i'll be talking about more strategies more ways of preparation to so do subscribe the channel if you haven't done it already and that's it from my side for this video uh, see you guys in the next one have a great day and all the best for your preparation